Hey guys, the objective of this video is going to be to determine the maximum and minimum design bending moment, which we call M star at mid span of the frame from the following load cases 1.35G, 1.2G plus 1.5Q, 1.2G plus wind plus 0.4Q, where we need to look at wind 1 and wind 2, 0.9G plus wind, where we need to be looking at wind 1 and wind 2. So here's our frame. Now we, it's 5 meters, 10 meters. We have a dead load of 10 kilonewtons per meter, a live load of 14 kilonewtons per meter, wind on the left at 100 kilonewtons, and wind on the right at 200 kilonewtons. Okay, so this is probably going to have to go across a couple of videos, but just the general procedure is this. We're going to be finding reactions and moments for G, Q, so dead, live, W1, the wind case 1, and wind case 2, all separately. Okay, so we're going to isolate each case. Then we're going to combine these moments, the mid-span moments, and then we're going to find the maximum minimum from those combinations. So if we first start with the dead load. So what I've done, I've drawn here, we're looking at dead load and step one is finding the reaction. So I've done, taken our frame and I've just isolated out the dead load of 10 kilonewtons per meter. Okay. The first thing we do is find the reactions. So I'm going to do it the long way first and then I'll show you a quick way how to do it. So some of the force in the X direction. We have no forces in the X direction. This is a pin and this is a roller. So we have vertical and horizontal and vertical. Now there's no uh, force in the X direction. So AX straight away is equal to zero. Okay, so AX is zero. Now taking moments about the point A, so we'd eliminate that and that force. So we're gonna be have a force there and a force from there. A moment, sorry, a moment from that and a moment from that. So taking moments anti-clockwise, we have BY times 10. So the 10 is the lever arm, BY. Going around that point is anti-clockwise. So it's positive BY outside of 10. The moment from this would be 10 by 10. So it's 10 kilonewton meters over 10 meters um, times by, so that's the force, times by the distance of the lever arm. So that lever arm would be at the middle. So it would be times five meters.